Scientists just discovered a tree that can harness the power of lightning to destroy its enemies. The Groot Thor team up we never knew we needed. Lightning kills millions of trees per year, usually targeting the tallest trees in an area. That is, with one strange exception, Tonka bean trees, which are routinely found to be older and taller than all of the other trees around them, somehow dodging the lightning strikes that took down the rainforest's other tall trees. To find out why, a team led by Evan Gora built a custom system of antennas capable of detecting the radio waves emitted as lightning strikes, hoping to triangulate which trees lightning typically targeted. Using this system, the team tracked lightning events in Panama's Barro, Colorado Nature Monument rainforest, and the results were kind of shocking. It turns out the Tonka trees weren't dodging the lightning strikes at all. They were repeatedly being hit, but seemed somehow to survive completely unharmed. Nearly 100 strikes in total, with 9 directly observed during the study, found that each Tonka tree survived with only minor damage, whereas direct strikes on trees of any other species resulted in catastrophic branch loss, and 64% of those struck trees dying within the next two years. The Tonka trees themselves seemed to be immune. However, the trees and vines immediately surrounding the Tonka trees weren't so lucky, and were 48% more prone to die than any other tree in the rainforest. So somehow, these Tonka bean trees were not only enduring lightning strikes, but then also channeling the millions of volts of electricity into the plants around them, like a four-sat scale lightning rod, eliminating the competition. In one case where lightning struck a Tonka tree, researchers watched as it blasted the parasitic vines that were leaching off of it across the canopy and killed near a dozen neighboring trees, with the tree itself almost completely unharmed. But what is it exactly that makes the Tonka tree so effective at resisting this power? It's believed this ability may come from a few factors, including the Tonka tree's dense, low-moisture wood, which makes it less internally conductive to electricity, and less likely to blow apart from water being flash-boiled inside the tree. But also its high levels of tannins and resins, which may further increase electrical resistance, making the path of least resistance for electricity along the vines climbing outside of the tree, rather than within the tree itself. In some regions of South America, native peoples often attribute this immunity to spiritual or protective qualities, so who knows? Maybe this is just Thor's favorite tree. I like this one. If you like science that sparks your imagination, follow for more.